Good morning. Welcome to episode one of FHS Ken TV. Today we're going to talk about the Bunsen burner, the parts of the Bunsen burner, and how to light the Bunsen burner. First of all, the parts of the Bunsen burner. Here's the Bunsen burner we will use in class. It has four main parts. The first part that I'm holding here is the gas intake tube. This tube will slide onto the hardware for the natural gas that we use in class. You just slide that on and the Bunsen burner will already be attached to the tube. The second part that we want to show you is the air intake valve. That valve is right here. This valve rotates to allow air to enter in and change the flame. This is the barrel of the Bunsen burner and then of course this is the base. When we use the Bunsen burner in class, we always make sure we have our safety goggles on. Safety first, okay? I will always do the lighting of your Bunsen burner in class and I will come over and adjust the flame to the need that we have. So let's take a look at how we are going to take, do that. Over here we have, which is off screen you cannot see, is the valve. I will turn the valve on and then I will come over and I will light the Bunsen burner. Okay. Now through the use of the intake valve, the air valve, excuse me, will adjust the flame. As you can hear and see, adjusting the air intake valve adjusts the flame. Okay. We want to have a flame that has no yellow in it. So right here would be a good would be a good flame. At any time, if something catches on fire, immediately shut off the gas at the valve and inform me of something that is something has taken place. You can adjust the flame through the height of the flame through the gas valve as I am doing right now with the valve off screen. This will get it to a point that is usable and yet safe. One more time while dealing with the Bunsen burner. While it is on, of course, you need your safety goggles. We will have heat gloves as we will use for our activities as well. Those are orange gloves and you, they are located in the cabinet underneath the safety goggles. Again, the parts of the Bunsen burner, we have air intake, we have the tube, we have the barrel, and we have the base. Thank you for watching FHS Chem TV. Have a great day.